Have you ever looked at your urine color and wondered what it's trying to tell you? Most people flush without a second thought, but your urine color can actually help transform your health. I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and what I'm about to share might completely change how you think about your urine and hydration. Most of you probably think that drinking more water is always better, but the science shows that that's not necessarily true. Today, I'm inviting you to join my seven day urine color challenge to discover how your optimal hydration level is better for bladder health with fewer UTIs and even more energy. I'm gonna show you how tracking something as simple as urine color can transform your health in just seven days. But before we dive into the challenge, let's understand what your urine color actually means. So what happens is your kidneys filter waste from your blood, which creates urine. Now that urine can range from a pale straw color to a dark amber color, depending on how concentrated it is. Think of your urine like a cup of tea. The more water you add, the lighter it gets. So when you're properly hydrated, your urine should look like a light yellow color, like lemonade. If it's too dark, typically you need to drink more water. If it's too clear, you might actually be over hydrating. And here's what people don't realize is that under hydration and over hydration can cause problems. And let me explain why it matters so much. When your urine is concentrated, appearing dark yellow or amber, it typically contains more concentration of waste products that can then irritate your bladder lining. This can then cause urgency and frequency. And this is interesting, right? Cause I see a lot of patients who come to me for bladder symptoms like urgency and frequency, and they try to drink less because because they want to avoid going into the bathroom. But doing that will actually make you go more often because it's actually irritating the bladder lining. It can also put you at a higher risk for urinary tract infections. You've got to flush the bacteria out to prevent them from sticking to the bladder wall. In fact, increasing your water intake by 1.5 liters or 50 ounces can decrease your risk of UTI by 46 it can also put you at higher risk for kidney stones and it can make you constipated, which worsens your urinary symptoms. Now on the flip side, when your urine is completely clear, like water, you might be drinking too much, which then will lead you to go to the bathroom really, really often and have urgency because your bladder's filling up so often. And in rare cases, we'll even see people get electrolyte abnormalities like hyponatremia, which can be really serious. So what is your current urine color? Take a mental note because that's what we're going to be tracking very carefully over the next week. Now, how does a challenge work? For the next seven days, you're going to become a urine color detective. So you'll need a few things. First is the urine color tracker that I've created that you can get from the link in the description. You'll need a water bottle to just help you track how much you're drinking. And just lastly, a commitment to follow through just for seven days. And every day you're gonna track your urine color throughout the day using the chart. You'll also look at any urinary symptoms you might have like urgency, frequency, pain, and your water intake. You're also gonna track some other things like your energy levels, how clear your skin looks, how your bowels are moving, just so we can get a big picture. Now this challenge isn't about drinking as much water as possible. It's about finding your optimal hydration level. And everyone's different, right? Everyone has different activity levels. They live in different climates, might be drier. They might be taking certain medications. So it's important to realize this is how we're gonna figure out what's right for you. Now, while we're focusing on urine color and bladder health, I wanna highlight how this challenge connects to something much bigger. You might notice I'm not wearing my usual scrubs. I'm wearing this team water shirt. Do you know that while we're concerned about getting the right amount of water, nearly 10% of people worldwide, that's one in 10, lack access to clean water entirely. Without clean water, women and children often walk hours every single day just to collect water. I mean, they don't have time to educate themselves or work. And when they drink dirty water, they get exposed to diseases like cholera, typhoid, dysentery. And for a lot of people, this is life or death. That's why I'm really proud to be a part of Team Water. This is an initiative led by Mr. Beast and Mark Rober, working with the biggest team of content creators on the internet. We're raising $40 million to provide 2 million people with life-changing access to clean water. For just $1, you can provide clean water to one person for an entire year. If you donate $7, which is $1 for each day of this challenge, you donate seven years worth of water to one person. So as we become more conscious of our own hydration through this challenge, I invite you to consider supporting Team Water. There's a link in the description where you can learn more and donate. Back to the challenge, let's break down what to 
expect day by day. Day one is your baseline. Today is about awareness. You don't need to change anything yet. You just want to observe and record your patterns. Fill out the sheet, note your urine color throughout the day, how often you urinate, and any symptoms you're having. This gives us your starting point. Day two, you'll start adjusting hydration. So if your urine was dark yesterday, you wanna gradually increase your water intake. If it was completely clear, slightly reduce your intake. Remember to aim for that light yellow color. Record how these adjustments are affecting your symptoms. Day three, today you're gonna to actually also look at your bladder irritants things that can irritate your bladder. These include things like caffeine, alcohol, citrusy fruits and juices, spicy foods, artificial sweeteners. Those can all irritate the bladder and make you feel more urgency or frequency. And when you remove these things, you'll note, does this actually help your symptoms at all? Day four, this is when you look at timing. Focus on when you're drinking. So instead of chugging large amounts of water at once, try to space out your hydration throughout the day. Specifically, try to remember to drink rather than waiting till the end of the day, and then try to reduce Reduce how much you drink about two to three hours before bedtime, especially if you're waking up at night. On day five, I want you to take a look back and see how does your activity level or exercise affect your hydration. Obviously, when you're more active, you're probably drinking more, so make sure you're noticing that too. Day six, you want to take a look at the correlations between the urine color as well as any symptoms you're noting. Are your urgency symptoms better when your urine is light yellow versus when it's really pale or dark? Are you feeling a little more alert? Is your skin looking a little more clear? And day seven is finding your optimal zone. Today, I want you to look back and find your personal hydration sweet spot. Look back at the log, find the urine color, where you feel your best and you have the least symptoms. And throughout, you might also notice some other surprising benefits outside of just urinary health. A lot of people will say they have more energy, better skin, more regular bowel movements, and even feel more alert when they find their optimal hydration level. As you complete this challenge, I want you to come back and let us know about your experience in the comments below. What urine color made you feel the best and was there anything surprising? And if you're moved by the Team Water Initiative I mentioned, consider checking it out in the description to learn how you can help provide clean water to those who need it most. Every single dollar helps. And if you give one dollar, you provide one person clean water for a whole year. And as always, you're gonna take care of yourself because you are worth it.